Oh my god, this is messed up. The jiu jitsu is freaking hard, you guys. So, uh, last night, after doing a pressing workout, had uh, an, hour and f an hour and a half of rolling. I did five rounds of five minutes, and uh, I feel like I just competed in a strongman competition, and that's just regular training. This is not fair. It's not fair. Today's leg day. I got. I got those uh, 411 pound squats, roughly around there. Last week I did five sets of five. On the, well, on the fifth one I did six reps. This is a double pause raw. That is no belt. God, how am I going to get through it today? How am I going to get through it? I don't know. It's not heavy, but the pauses make them really hard. And I'm also doing it on a safety squat bar, which is uh, an implement that I feel much weaker on than a straight bar. You guys, this is intense. This is getting really intense. I want to get to a pro level in um, jiu-jitsu, so I'm giving, my, giving it my all this upcoming year to uh, get as proficient as I possibly can in jiu-jitsu and maybe also competing in strongman, but we'll see when it gets after this competition on October 12th how I feel and where I'm at with my body and uh, if my shoulder is still finicky, of course I, uh, may, I'll, I'll try to get ready for the Arnold and Worlds for sure. But it would be way cooler, I think, to now uh, to be able to go pro in jiu-jitsu. If that's possible, I'd give it my all to make it happen. Well, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. So let's get to work. What am I doing in my life? I'll just stay down here for a while. Sometimes for a warm up, I like to just get into a deep squat, chill with a very light weight, rock back and forth, really come up on my toes, allow the heels to come up, and then slowly sink back into the heels. This helps me kind of mobilize my ankles a little bit. So then I'll rock back and forth like this, letting the heels come up very slowly, trying to. Relax the ankles. And then, right now you can't really see, but my heels are just a tiny bit off the floor. So letting them hover. And I'm just chilling here until I feel my heels sink down and touch the ground without rocking my body back. That's the trick. So it's really mobile. Oh yeah, there it is. My, I can feel my ankles just let loose. I got that range. Ooh. But you guys, that feels like a million pounds. I genuinely don't know if I could do this today. I'm gonna take a 20 minute break and I'll do another set with an empty bar. Do, do, do any of you guys do jujitsu and also lift heavy? I need to know. Like, let me know in the comments how you guys balance that. Like, do you lift on the same days as you do jujitsu? Lately, I am. Maybe I should spread it out a little bit more. But I love having days to just stretch and relax and just let my body rep repair itself. So I usually just get my lifting done, then go to jujitsu. And I don't know. As as my intensity of these uh, lifts gets um, r r rises and gets. The weights get heavier and I do more repetitions. It's getting harder and harder to recover. Luckily next week is a deload, so it should be better. And maybe I'll acclimate to this uh, rhythm. But yeah, even this week, just three workouts instead of four. And I'm, I'm freaking feeling it. Luckily I'm gonna have two days off this weekend. I'm gonna do light cardio tomorrow, maybe like a walk or a low intensity hike, but nothing intense. I'm just gonna let my body recover. And then of course today after doing legs, I got more jujitsu. Uh, yeah, I really wanna know, how do you guys do it? Whoever does jujitsu and lifts heavy, I'm just like, how? I'm gonna have to reach out to uh, the Iron Giant and uh, see if I can hang out with him in Austin. Hopefully learn his ways, how he balances things out. All right, let's do the empty bar set.
Okay, that's feeling better. Let's add some weight. Oh, oh dear God. 100% gonna take my time with this workout today. Five minute rest, it is. What are you up to? 191 pounds. Okay, we'll see how far we can push. Man. Okay. Today I was like, man, I'm gonna be home and lay down. <sighs> yeah, you and me both. Three hundo, let's go. Well, technically, I'm warmed up and ready for the next thing. I don't want to be, but I gotta do it. It's not just me today. My sensei, Tiago over here, Professor Tiago. Came to do some deadlifts. Yeah, we're gonna do some deadlifts. He's got a competition next week. Yes. What do you got coming up? Worlds for the elders. Okay, the Vegas. elder, yeah, you're an elder. <laughs> Vegas this week me and the team soon as this guy yeah and soon I'll be joining them I'm so excited he, Tiago's gonna be doing double pause deadlifts he said he doesn't want to do legs today because he doesn't want his legs to get too big for the gi <laughs> that's true, that is true. <laughs> okay so the pause will be here yes and then, and then you then. lock out and then they're the same spot so all the way down always below the knee always right below the knee yeah okay let me just do a few just to warm up this grip here. Tight back, shoulders back, tight triceps. Good. Yep. Good. Hips back, tight triceps. Good. Just like that. Uh huh. Then don't slide on the thighs on the way down. Hips back. There you go. Loading the back. Nice, Diego. Then hips back. Good. That's perfect. Perfect. Looking good, my man. Yeah, but that's the form is what matters the most. And speaking of which, it's time for me to do my thing. Come on. Good start. Felt better than the warm ups.
Not bad. Two sets done. Three sets in. Not bad. I've also been pretty disciplined, continuing with four minute rests. <laughs> Opted not to do the five. Still recovering well. I think jujitsu is really helping my work capacity. One more set. All right, last set. Gotta take it to the moon. Pauses, man. Killer. I took it to the moon. Tiago just did 255 pound deadlift, so double pauses. Killed it. Now working up. Oh yeah, good height there, Tiago. Yep, perfect. Get that pause. Get that pause. Lock it. Yes. Nice. Very good. So right now I got single leg RDLs. I'm going 10 kilos heavier than last week. To be honest, I was just uh, being a little bit lazy. These single leg RDLs get brutally difficult with high, high repetitions. So this week I'm going a little heavier. That's cheating a little bit. I'm going to be doing fewer reps. I'm just going to save myself because those those squats were, I, I feel them. Oh, 
set two of single leg Romanian deadlifts. This is, by the way, 900, uh, 900 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, 900 pounds, no. 209 pounds or 95 kilos. So, all right, let's go. So as you guys know, as you guys can see, I'm going just below the patella. No need to exaggerate, especially on single leg, because uh, if you want any kind of meaningful load while keeping the back neutral, also keeping the hips level, not twisting the hips any which way, it's much better to limit that range of motion. Going too deep will force you to go much lighter. It's still beneficial, but different purpose. Right now I'm trying to get my power and work capacity up and also stability under heavier loads. So I'm opting slightly less range of motion or range of motion that is most functional and has a carryover to the events I do. Versus if I go really deep, I'd be going a lot lighter. That's more for rehab purposes. One more set. No, right, final set. Nothing too crazy, folks. Okay, surviving split squats next. All right, next is uh, split squats. Shit, yeah, all right. I'm just gonna film one set of those. The last time I got with 191 pounds, 10, 10, and 10. So this week I have gone up to, let's see, I'm checking my notes right now, 107 kilos or 235 pounds. And just starting way low on the rep range, just starting at five. I'm gonna build up to double digits again with 235 before I go up again and wait. These are definitely brutal, so. But they really help what I believe is uh, with shots in uh, Jiu Jitsu, something I'm not really good at. Even in my wrestling days in high school, I struggled with taking shots. Now I would here and there, but uh, with my body weight, though that explosive force after you're out of breath, after three minutes or so, it, uh, it catches up to me. But my goal this time around with jujitsu is to get better at really taking those shots and still having energy to keep going after I take them. So I'm gonna keep on with these split squats to help my standing game in jujitsu. Two more sets, I'm not gonna film them and move on to accessories. So, a little update, gang. Um, I'm cutting my workout to two parts. I didn't lose, I lost, I uh, lost track of time. I have jujitsu at 3.30, so. About to do a jujitsu session with Tiago, and then go back to the gym to teach the class and also do some accessories. So it goes. Good, cross body from here. 
Good, okay. Tight. And what happened yesterday, just so you know, your leg went a little banana. Yeah, here. I was a little too high here. Yeah, but then you, instead of pinching and being heavy, yeah. you end up a little, a little light, just so you know. Yeah. Okay, this can never happen. So you always just squeeze your elbows as well. Yes. Okay, right now, no arm. Basic push my knee and quarter mount. Good. Double on your hook. Stay low. Good. Now get the ankle on my knee. Now. Yes. I just want to say, so the other day I was uh, rolling, really struggling, passing. Uh, I was co consistently getting half mount, but I'm struggling passing it. So we're going to be working that today. A lot today. So the one that really got me was that butterfly. So it's, yeah, then the knee was like in my way. Yeah, didn't so. Didn't know what to do with that. Don't worry today. And that out Not yet. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't go out. Out is good for me. Okay. So out is my butterfly is stronger. Yeah. You want to actually just shift your body. No, 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 no. That way. Shift. That way. That way. That way. The other way. You want to smash my legs. Oh, really? And now you're in folding pass, which you already know. A little bit of it. When you coyote me, when, you, when you're when flipping me over for a half a bar, you always put me in that position. Yeah. Here, but you put me in that position on the other side. That's why I Let's see. And you're going to come here. Could be. That's an easy way to pin. Okay. Make sense? So with the butterfly, you smash my knee to the same side. Yeah. Always, if possible, legs together. Don't, don't spread my legs. I'm okay. strong. Okay. My legs together. Look, slowly mm. you're going to creep up. Make sense? I see. I okay. have this in my mind. I need to get Eddie or you on your back. I'll get you on your That's back. That's not bad because you're strong. Okay. Yeah. But. Yeah, this was consistently here? where I ended up. No, no, I'm very comfortable yeah. with you here. Yeah. I've been, because you're very big, I'm yeah. having a hard time to move you, but I don't feel in danger at all. Yes. Does make sense? That makes because sense. Because then from here, more you put me flat, look, more weight is on my face, yeah. less weight here, and I could lift. Right now, after you make me work out, I have no strength left. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's the only reason. <laughs> <laughs> but you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why yesterday when you were doing it, I was like, I'm okay, because my butterfly is what keeps me safe. Gotcha. Awesome. Stay calm. Double under hook. I never even got this far. We need to get that far. I need to learn how to get that far. But I'm gonna show you today something that we're gonna work a lot. Yeah. I need to learn how to get past might, these knees. You might not uh, get to that position anymore. Make okay, sense? Yeah. That's you're gonna mix. Jeez, now I'm overthinking it. Two more. here use the arm your right arm under hook knees on the mat and hug my head in your head it might be a regression mm -hmm. but it's not because you're yeah. here yeah okay let's just talk before we start with Tiago I'm not being able to get this hook in yeah let's say you're not being able to for whatever reason yeah, that's, cross that's body it. from here cross body do you understand yes or no yeah. elbow by my elbow elbow by oh, all the way okay Tiago it's not working cross body Go back chest to chest. There is no regression. You're just changing yeah. how you're going to move forward. You understand? Yes. So for that one, you're going to have a second option. So you're here, mm -hmm. chest to chest. I, I want you to find what you need. Find my knee, toes in. All five toes. Take your time. I'm not going to squeeze your leg. Good. Okay. Tuck my shoulder. Switch the head. So get the arm out. Good. Head on the ground and just touch my head. Beautiful. You're going to do the yoga stretch all the way to the side. More, your body needs to go. Okay, like this. 
Good, you feel my knee pain on the mat? You don't need to look, you just need to feel. I think so, yeah. Okay, head on the mat, tripod. Just to you get your knee out. But, 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 but. It's okay, you're hanging on the ground. Okay, so let the other foot go. Just step on the mat with that foot. Good, I want your knee a little higher. I want only your foot trap, not your whole shin. Good! Okay, keep it there over hook or under hook. This one. I don't care how it's gonna be. Okay, now. Your butt is loaded on me. Slowly we're gonna slide all the way, all the way, all the way. Okay, question, why your hand is fucking up? Stay on the ground, and now, your butt is still on top of me, look. Slide your knee down. Stop, go back. Don't worry, no, 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 I need to show you. I don't know. Knee out, right here, under hook, head on the ground. Okay, so, do you see that my chest is under yours? Yeah. Okay. So slide your knee down, all the way down. Look at my finger. Yes, keep it sliding down. Now, start to think about, keep your foot there. Stretch your hip, touch your below below on the ground and your chest on the ground. This is better. Okay, this is as far as you can go, you think? That's good. Don't try to get the foot out. Just extend your hip. Good, now your free leg kicks my knee. Just find my knee. Now head up. Understood? Okay. Yes. No rush yeah. at all, like patience. Oh. If your knee comes to this point, you cannot lose position. So if yeah. you get here, you know that you're gonna pass. Doesn't matter who it is. Okay. Worst case, they're going turtle, but there's no escape. That there's is no flipping over, nothing like that's that. That's a solid position oh, to be in. Oh, one of the best. Okay. Okay, so. So go cross body in this. Half guard. You ready? No cross body. Boom, whatever happened. Just change to chest to chest. Okay. Toes in. Toes first. Right? Good. Now hug the shoulder. Head. You don't need this yet. For now, balance. Head on the mat. Okay. Yoga stretch first. No butt up. Just the stretching. Good. Okay. My knee is on the ground. Good. Now tripod. Head and toe. Keep it going. Butt up. Good. Let's switch. Good. Okay. Take your top and touch your knee on my ribs. And now this hand. Now you're gonna search for underhook or overhook. I don't care. Overhook, like here. Uh, use your hand on my tricep, like an arm drag. Yes. So I don't push your leg. Okay. Okay. Slow. Now you're loaded. You're loaded. More. Low. Low. Take your time. Don't get your foot out. Stretch your hip. Not yet. I can feel you're trying to pull your foot. Just touch your. Oh, I, I like that. I like. Yes. Okay. That's more than enough. So my hips are away from you now. Oh, I don't care, bro. Oh, okay, that's fine. I want that. Okay. Okay, now touch my knee. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna show you something and it will make sense for you. Yeah. What we're talking about. This leg goes over my foot like the coyote, like all the way. Okay, very good. And I have the underhook. Is that okay? Uh -huh. My knee's touching you uh -huh. and my head is here. Okay. I'm gonna ask you to gently use a little strength, that's okay, but no hands because you don't have to flip me over. Okay. Okay, but because my hand, you cannot finish the move, is that okay? Because of my hand on the mat? Oh. Uh, because I have it, you don't have the underhook. I see, you have the underhook, you can brace yourself, yeah. Exactly. But what can happen is you can push my knee back inside your half guard. Okay. Well, trap as tight as you can. Okay. Now I'm gonna do my best. I would like you to do the same thing again. Do you see how you lift, okay? Yeah. She would not be able to move me. Mm. And Brian would not be able to move. Don't worry. Now you, when you, now answer your question. You said, my hip is going far away from you. Yeah. Now I'm gonna, oh, no. I see where this is going, yeah. Keep it tap, tap in my foot. Uh, go back, go back. Uh-uh, I'm not there yet. Now, do it. Oh, Jesus. He's still can do it. <laughs> but it is heavier. Uh, no. Uh, one second. Max, come here. You already right? Yes, you can cup the shoulder already, but the head stays. Mm -hmm. And now what is the first step? Good. Now we already have the shoulder. Just head. Yoga. Oh. Don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it yet. Head on the mat for balance. Yes. Tripod. Uh-uh, not yet. After your knees on the ground, 
That's when you worry about other ones. Okay, pressure up off, knee on my rib. Okay, good. Take your time. Let Thiago push. Let Thiago do whatever he wants to do. Do I understand? Mm -hmm. It's over. It's already over. Okay, now, your hips are protected. Relax, stage two, load your hips on me. This is bad, do you understand? Mm, this is bad, okay. From the stage one, to stage three. One, two, three, slide. All more, more. Relax, stretch your hip, relax. You're trying to get the foot out, I can feel. Rel okay, this, this is the stage three. Relax your hips. Oh. Like this, relax. You see, you're extending yeah. yourself. Don't worry about your foot. You're good. Mm -hmm. Now, just light kick. That's nice. Okay. So, think up before you. Relax yeah. your hip. Relax. Yeah. Let's go. We're gonna do that all day today. I this. love it. Let's go. That's that's all. Wait, you don't need to pull yet, just cup. Just cup. Yeah, that's all you need. No need pressure here. Yoga. So I want not just the knee, I want your body going. Yes, yes! Okay, tripod. Let me get your foot really quick. Good, I got it. Mm -hmm. Now's the time to underhook. Or overhook, yes? Relax in the slide. More. Yes. Yes. Good. Relax. Sink on me. Very good. Take your time here. I can chill here. But you don't need to. Make sense? This yeah. is final stage. I prefer you chill on the stage one. I see. If we're going to chill, I prefer you would chill on stage one. But there's not a wrong to on the stage two. In the turn tournament I'm going to, I get points to for, me down. for passing the guard. Three. Three, okay. So that's important. I need to get Very. You need to hold your life. I and I, I'm going to be the one telling you. Yeah. Martins, you got the points. You can let him go turtle if that's your goal. Make yeah. sense? Like the guy is scrapping. Yeah. Like if that's the case. I think my number one thing for this tournament is to learn how to pass his guard. Yes. Because yeah. you need to be super comfortable. Half guard, smash. Half guard, smash. Yeah. And then quarter mount, cross body, Kimura. Because I know because I train with you. You're very strong. If it yeah. does not work, you need to have, for me, if you have those three options solid, yeah. cross body kimura, cross body to quarter mount, or what I call the knee cut pass, chest to chest yeah. knee cut. Good. Okay, stage one, squeeze in your my rim. Good! That's where Martin's still. For 10 seconds, Martin's a little tired. It's okay, rest. Okay, I'm ready. Stage three, sink on the ground. More, relax, relax. I can feel that you're not relaxed yet. And then when you're ready, you go. I can feel when you're very relaxed and when you're not. Yeah. Like your hips. I can feel that you sink on the ground yeah. when you're not fully sink. Make sense? Understood. I can feel your hips relaxing. Okay. Elbow by my elbow no matter what. That's how you get the kimura. Yeah. Elbow by my elbow. Do you understand? Yes. And then straighten our bar. You're ready to know. Don't lose the elbow. See? You're very strong on that move. Yeah. You lose the arm. Okay. The chest to chest. Squeeze the guy a little bit here. Or knee on my armpit so I don't get my head under, do you see? Or yeah. knee on my hip and squeeze. Yes, there's still not a good space. Do you understand? Yeah. There's no other option. So okay. Here or my armpit. Me personally, I like to do both. But depending on the situation, I go higher. And higher, higher with this knee. So this arm is actually, uh, your leg is a cushion for my tricep. Yeah. Does it make sense? Makes sense. Higher, higher than the knee. Yes. Like yes. this. Do you understand? understand? So, now here, take her time. Good. 
Dig deep this though, beautiful. I don't care how long it takes, okay? You need to feel good about it, not me. So here, if my knee goes out, that's a problem, because then you get your No, hand. no, you, as soon as you have the hooks in, yeah. you're pinning my leg. Okay. So you're good. You're very good at so it. So it doesn't matter for uh, here. I, I like yeah. here, okay. because I feel that I can dig my, my foot deep. Yes, oh, yeah, okay. oh I like that. Okay. Almost touching the ground. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you're lifting the butt, no reason. Yes, that's more than enough. Take your time, you, stage one. Good, so nobody can, ah, I can't. I cannot hurt you. Okay, stage two, I want you to relax. Okay, just focus on your hips now, relax. And drive forward your bilu bilu. Oh yes. Okay, now I can see that this is too high, slide your knee lower. Okay, keep your foot with me. I'm gonna do it for you. Okay, right now I can see that your knee is not mobile enough, for me, which is fine. You're very heavy here, don't worry. And now. Nice. For some reason I have a feeling that your knee is not as light, it's not your hips anymore. Just wrap my foot as tight as you can. So this doesn't matter. So here I have my underfoot. This is what I feel marching sometimes, okay? So the hip is. But then I feel that the hip is going, but the knee didn't go down. Yeah. Slide. Look my hip, touching the ground. Okay, I get Relax. it. Relax, I'm just like, oh, my chest is very close. Yeah. I'm very high on Martins. When I tell you to slide, oh, look at my leg, I want you to look. I, yeah. Do you feel that my foot is not trying to slip out? I'm not, this is what I feel Martins doing. Like stretch. Okay. And in training when you're squeezing, it's not gonna work. I see, yeah. I want you to sink. Let the foot Okay, stays. not just down, but towards your legs. Yes, I, I don't know, to be honest, a better way to explain. I think I get it now. Huh? Or about the bridge, yeah. or the chest on the ground. Take your time here. Cook it the guy for a few seconds. What happens if they put the hand in here? Oh. Oh yeah, very basic. Beach and bun, it works. Can we easily finish our fight here? Okay. I'm serious. I need to practice that too, yeah. So you just need to remember need to think about it. Good. That's more than enough. And uh, how quickly should I go for this? No, no rush, because this is where it matters. Right I'm now. strong here. See, not a very strong. I'm no, just, just yeah, so take your time. Okay, now's the time to do the test if you're sick. Hmm? Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Okay. I see. And now? Relax your hip. Oh, yes. I can feel the difference. Nice, <laughs> big difference. Okay. Okay, or the knee high or squeeze, no halfway, yeah, or the knee squeeze, or, sorry, squeeze here, or a little bit, but no halfway. Okay, yeah, either one will do it. Deep, good. Open the knee, think about the yoga. Stretch your hip. Yes, yes, that's enough. Too comfortable. Take your time. This is very good. Now, Thiago, how do I feel safe? Let pull here. Just, yes. Now, don't pull me. Pull yourself over my face. Understood? Mm, yeah. So you feel strong. You pull yourself into the person instead of pulling mm. me to you. You want to keep me on the ground, remember? Yeah, and it's okay for my face on, not on the ground? I would like to be at least your forehead. Okay. And this hand can go on the mat if you feel like in your palm. Yes. Okay, shoulder. Hand on the mat, it feel good, make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It can alternate, it's not the end of the world. And then Martinez is ready. Nice. Very good. Why? We didn't have water yet. Laying on your arm there. Say remove that? Oh, I just laying on the skin of your arm. <laughs> oh, you're fine. You're, you're just letting my arm escape. No, I don't know why. Yeah. Deeper. Yes. 
stretch yourself. Good, good. So that should be immediate. No, uh, you're gonna do immediately, but it's not in a rush situation. Mm -hmm. And now you hold. Hand on the mat if you want, if you wanna rest a little bit. They're gonna try just so you know, push in between us. Okay. But it's not a, it should not be a problem, make sense? Yeah. And that's why your head shouldn't be on the mat, ever. Understood, yeah. Yes, yes. yes. What you don't want is slide your knee and head goes up and create that space where I can try to frame to go through. Oh, like yeah. that space between our faces and I go and Gosh. so you want to make sure it's <clears throat> tied to the end. Yeah. This already should be a very strong move for you just when you staple their leg we're gonna call this a staple yeah you should already feel like i got you like yeah is, is it also possible for me to go this way yes not as easy but okay. of course it is okay. the same the same way if your hips are good which i'm not sure right now you yeah. could go straight to the cut there it feels like i could like as your knee comes off my hips you point your knee to max can you do that i oh, can okay. i can let's try like here, if that's the case. Understood? Uh, yeah. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You didn't, you didn't suit your head yet. Oh. Right. No, 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 your knees are already out. Remember, your knees are already oh. out. Oh. You ready to move? Okay, where's the other hook? Cut. Oh, this is the best one. You're sinking right now. I don't know what you did different, but this I is... I have no idea. <laughs> no, no, but this is good. Oh, interesting. So that... The knee cut... This position is called this, knee cut. The knee cut accomplishes the same thing as sinking the other way. Yes. So, yes. Okay. So, what you're getting basically is your knee out. Mm. Make sense? Yeah. So, in this case, you do want to do one step at a time for the purpose of slowing me down. Yeah. Not in a rush, make sense? Like, yeah. when you do what you're doing right now, it's not wrong at all, but it might be a little hard. Tight. Good. Yeah. Knee on the mat. Yep. Okay. Shoulder, head, yoga. Tripod. Rib. Good. Stage three. Not bad at all. Normal. Just as low as it should be. Just, yeah. No, no. It should be as low no matter what. Make sense? Yeah. Very confusing. Whew. <laughs> so it's it's been a couple been a couple hours since uh, finishing jujitsu. I've been laying on the floor and uh, try, trying my best to coach these guys. Right now we're at the end of the class. And I spent, look at Jorge. He, he, he did a good job. Thank you. Nicely done, Jorge. I'm exhausted. He did 102 reps on squats. That's more than anyone should ever do in a lifetime. And now I got my uh, medial delts and rear delts to do, leg extensions, leg curls, and calf presses, and then I'm gonna call it. So I'm gonna try to get through that as quickly as possible to try to maintain my sanity. All right, dumbbell side raises. I got 20 pounds last time I did 15, 15, 20. Last week I ended up doing these on my leg day as well. You guys are totally welcome to put these on a pressing day. It just, uh, the way my schedule's worked out, I've had to kind of scramble my exercises around. So let's go. I'm gonna try to beat those repetitions I did last week. The pause is key and also leading with the elbow is key to maintain that tension on the medial delts rather than the anterior.
Yeah, that burns. Two more sets of that, and then I'll hit rear delts. All right, out the dumbbell side, laying row fly. Last week I had 20 pounds, I did three sets of 10. I'm just gonna try to increase these repetitions and not worry too much about getting heavy on these. Uh, there, this is a tough motion, and to keep the quality of it, it's difficult. This is one of my favorite favorite ways to hit my rear delts. I, I picked this up from a friend, Sota, from Sapporo in Japan. So shout out to you, Sota. Still doing these. Row, extend, lower. For these, I also try to lead with a pinky up. See that my pinky's leading. I extend and I try to keep that pinky up to the sky just a little bit to really make sure I'm hitting the rear down. Well, those get tough for me. <sighs> Definitely have had a deficiency of strength in my rear delts, which I think probably has contributed to some of my shoulder issues as of late. So I'm trying to build those back up to reinforce my shoulders and be able to push some heavy weights leading to next year. I'm not gonna film the rest. I'm gonna move on to leg extensions, leg curls, single leg, and calf, pr calf presses. I am so tired. It is taking all my willpower to finish this today, you guys. Those uh, jujitsu, that jujitsu session was intense. The plan right now, because I'm really good at getting into half mount in, in jujitsu, just, just about everyone I go up against. I'm confident I could get into half mount, but then passing it is, uh, it's not so easy for me. I, I just get fuzz brain when I'm so tired and out of breath. I forget my moves, so. In jujitsu, we've been, like today, as you guys saw, uh, rehearsing, 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 passing. Just different methods of passing. So I'm gonna keep practicing that, and that's gonna be my strategy going into October 12th. Do whatever it takes to get in the half mount, confident there, and then, Hopefully all that practice will have paid off and I'll be able to pass it. All right, on to leg extensions and leg curls. Last week I had 888. Today I'm gonna push a little bit more. My legs don't feel too burnt out. I'm gonna hit 10s. Single leg because I'm trying to balance out the discrepancies between left and right and also adding that pause in to help reinforce the knees. I'm not doing this for total strength. I'm doing this just for tendon health, joint health, and just uh, making sure that I have e even force uh, distribution between my legs. I guess I'll accept that. That framing is so bad. Well, I'm doing my best, you guys. But uh, as you can see, my leg is working. It's moving weight. And you get the idea. Gonna hit 10 reps easy. Oh, I don't like that it's stopping right here. I'm gonna have to. Increase that range in a second. I don't like that lock. Just gotta go deeper. There we go. That's the bend I want. Much better. Feeling good. Leg curls next, or after. All right, feeling good. Gotta finish those up, and then leg curls. Eight to 10 reps with those as well, with a pause. Get it done. Leg curls, same weight, 170 pounds. Adding the pause on the bottom, and uh, going for 10. No doubt these are getting way easier week by week. Really trying to keep my foot straight to work my hamstrings evenly. And I also want this to transfer to my running events. In all my running events, I always try to keep my feet in a straight line to maximize the utility 
of my ankles and calves. Get three sets of those done, but to be honest, I think I might cut it short. Just to, uh, I got a hike tomorrow, tomorrow. My girlfriend is taking me on a hike. I don't like hikes, but, um, you know, you gotta do things for love, you guys. All right, let's finish this up and go home. Terminal calf extensions. I'm doing these to uh, help me produce more force in my yoke carries because um, deep stretches during calves have a nice translation to squats, but terminal calf presses, that is like just starting from flat to all the way up, have a better tra uh, transfer to running events. And that's where my calves are the weakest. So that's what I'm gonna be working on. Hook one foot behind, lean against the wall, and up. Making sure to really pause on the top without twisting your foot in or out. Oh, those are getting way better week by week. In the beginning, I really struggled keeping my right foot going straight up. My right foot would tend to flare out like this and go up. So that's kind of like developing, I don't know the terminology for it, but like uh, the lateral side of the calf to help pull up the heel so it doesn't flare out. You guys get what I'm saying, right? Just trying to keep that force right through the center. It's good, but getting better, especially on that right, my right calf. I've had a lot of struggle with that one. My left calf always feels like it could double whatever my right one does, but they're slowly evening out. All right, that's it for me, guys. You know, the workout is in the description. I'll be seeing you guys next week. We're, it's gonna be a deload. I'll be off to San Francisco to uh, hang out with my family. We're gonna do a little road trip, but I'll be hitting uh, weights Monday and Tuesday, and then maybe in some hotels, who knows? It'll be uh, a very light and short week.